Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications Live at NAB 2023, day two with Mark Wilson from Glen Sound. Mark, thanks for being with us. Yeah, good to be here. Good to see you again. How are you? Welcome to the side of the pond. Yeah, it's great over here. Always, always love a trip to the States. Always great. Fantastic. You've got a couple of new things that are exciting that we're talking about here. Yep. Uh, why don't we dive right into the, the Vittoria? Vittoria. Um, this was a, a bespoke project last year, actually, that we did. Uh, for a, a, a government, shall we say, um, and it's a security isolation bridge where if you imagine a situation where uh, a, a base, a location, uh, have their own network in their facility and an OB truck would turn up, they have their network running on in their truck, they need to pass audio with each other, but you can get security issues about networks connecting. So what we have here is the Vittoria. These are two separate network interfaces. There are 32 channels passing here. We pass the audio in DSP. There's no uh, connection um, of no connection of the network sides at all. Mm -hmm. They're completely isolated. So when you're connected on this side, you can't see the other network. Um, so what that means, if this is in your OB truck and you turn up at a venue, they've got their own network. Mm -hmm. They plug in one side, you plug in the other, you can pass 32 channels of audio and there's no network issues. We're showing it here with a Ravenna module on this side and a Dante module on this side. So obviously if you've got both, uh, then you're able to interface between a Dante network and a, a Ravenna. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's passing 32 channels um, and there's, there's no issues. There's no setting, no config, it's a one-to-one -one asynchronous box. Um, with no network issues, they're isolated. Cool, okay. And so this is really addressing securities concerns, and I guess you could actually, connecting two different Dante networks would give you more streams, more flows, whatever the, the terminology is for that. Yeah, absolutely. The initial version of this was indeed two Dante networks. Mm -hmm. um, we added the Ravenna option later. Uh, it makes it very interesting as a Ravenna to Dante, but obviously um, it's equally valid if it's mm -hmm. two Dante networks to keep it the network separate or indeed we have customers using it where in one facility they might be running two different clocks mm. network clocks so they can have a 44 1k network and they can have a 96k network ah, uh -huh. and they can run together and pass audio mm -hmm. and there's no there's no cross compatibility issues it just nope. goes nope Great. we handle all the audio in DSP so there's no network issues at all got it all right, and then the next thing we're talking about is this Nomad box. So this, yes. this to me, seems really interesting, has a lot of potential. What does the Nomad do? The Nomad is a mobile phone hybrid. Mm -hmm. So in essence, it's a mobile phone, but it's specifically for broadcast applications. Mm -hmm. So what that means is we have proper I.O. on it. On the back, there is uh, XLRs and a headphone jack. Mm -hmm. So you can connect to it with a, a regular microphone or a headset uh, and a regular headphones. So... It's a hybrid for a mobile phone. What we've done with uh, the Nomad, uh, mm -hmm. as opposed to the last generation units, is we've added some extra functionality where now we've added an on-off button, so you can use that as a cough button or a push-to-talk button, mm -hmm. depending on your application. We have a screen, an OLED screen, so obviously that allows you to see the caller ID, signal strength, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Uh, importantly for the US, the module that we use over here is pre-registered with the American networks, mm -hmm. so it's ready to go. Our phone module is ready to go um, in the US. There won't be any compatibility issues. Um, other key differences for us on here, the output typically on a, on a hybrid would be the, the opposite end's audio out. Right, there's a rack mount version of this as the, well. There is, yes. Mm -hmm. But that audio output, t sometimes people have asked us to be a mix of the incoming audio and their audio. Oh. So there's a setting where you can take that as a mix mm -hmm. out, if you like. Um, the third option that we've added that we, we've been asked for is as well as batteries and a DC input, we've also got a USB power input on the back. Uh -huh. So if you've got USB power banks, you can also power those. The key most important thing with this is if you're on the same network in the same country on either end of the call with two of our devices, the audio link will be at 7 kilohertz. Mm. That's a HD voice signal, gives you 7 kilohertz, which is pretty much studio quality for voice. You wouldn't put music over it, right. but for voice applications, it's perfect. So it's used by uh, radio. Mm -hmm. It could be a, just a quick, good-to-go uh, radio journalist's interviewing box. Yep. 
Um, they're used a lot for talkback. They're used uh, as an in-ear monitor pack in some situations. Mm -hmm. um, we have some people using them on golf courses where radio mics won't do the distance. So you can ah. have these doing the, the extra distance when uh -huh. uh, commentators are uh, 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 having to go a distance. What's the latency on a cell phone network It like is this? exactly the same as a regular cell phone's latency. Mm -hmm. So it, it changes depending on the network, but it's no different to holding your phone and having a regular mm -hmm. call. There's no difference. I could see a lot of um, applications for talkback, like in Absolutely. terms of integrating yep. somebody remotely like having a talent call in to do lines mm -hmm. if you had this on your on your cart for them to go in and out it can go into your mixing board be able to do the lines and then yep. also be sent out um yeah and have yeah be sent out to set for other people to hear you know earwigs and things like that and then the return feed um from your mixing board going in here absolutely for two-way communication absolutely yes um so actors potentially don't even have to come to set if all they're doing is being the other side of a phone call, reading lines and things yeah, like absolutely. that. Yeah, Cool. So that's a Nomad. Great. All right. Fantastic. What are the things that you are working on? What are you looking forward to? How do you feel like the Dante market has, uh, you know, what do you feel like the implementation's been? And yeah, I don't know. What, what thoughts do you have? Dante, Dante's been great for us. It's, it's, it's been... Um, allowed us to expand uh, our range. I mean, six, seven years ago, we had virtually no Dante. Mm -hmm. Today, most of what we do is Dante-based. Yeah. Um, and we're expanding into new areas all the time. I mean, our development list is six or seven products running through. On the wish list, we have 20 products, uh, you know, that we're scheduling to, should we be doing this? What mm -hmm. should we be doing? Uh, then we're also always doing custom applications for, um, uh, different projects. We've, we've just done a time code reader, for example, uh, will be coming soon. Uh, a very simple time code viewer. Uh, and, and different products are coming through all the time. The, the SDI embedder, D embedders are new as we move into different areas. Um, but as well as Dante being a sort of a core interface for us, adding Ravenna does mm -hmm. give us some interesting options as well because most of our devices, uh, Ravenna can be an option. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you've got Ravenna, that's giving you ST2110, which we get asked a lot about. So uh, we will evolve and move as, as customers require. Uh, but the exciting thing about our industry is it's it's always moving. Something's happening. The, the next thing is always coming. So yeah. uh, as you know, with many of the products that Glen Sound do, we always try and innovate, mm -hmm. do something a bit different that other people do, don't do. The Nomad is an example of that. Our GTM Esports is an example of that. Um, mm. uh, our Divine Speaker yep. is an example of that. We, we always try and think about the application uses and, and do something a bit different and extra to make it special rather than just another example of. So yeah. uh, we will always keep doing that. Out of curiosity, last year you introduced the GTM uh, setup and we were talking about gaming conventions. How many of those have you actually sold? Well, it's well into four figures. Um, we, we've done really well with the GTM mm -hmm. and it's, the, the major hurdle with GTM has actually been microchip supply, uh -huh. DSP supply, and that's sort of held it back. Um, funnily enough, a lot of esports tournaments, as you know, the, the requirement could be fairly short notice uh -huh, and, sure. and when people need a lot of equipment at right. short notice that can be a bit of a challenge um, and where we would like to build them thousands at a time because we have to share our Dante chips around at mm -hmm. the moment because of you know, the, the supply issues that has been although that's getting much better now to be fair um, hopefully in soon we will be building these much larger quantities yeah um, so that we will be able to supply in a much shorter time field but uh, the, the GTM again it keeps evolving the, you know there's different requirements it's expanding there's always if I give you an example there's always two or three hundred on order at any one time yeah to, to go back and talk about the GTM it's a, a box we talked about last year for gamers specifically for gaming conventions yeah. absolutely it still offers lots of functions that aren't available anywhere else and, and uh, it ticks all those boxes in terms of it being interesting innovative new mm -hmm. even if people are not in the market for that type of product. They love to hear about it because it's an exciting, yeah. interesting product. Yeah, my kid would be super interested. Yeah. Okay, so there. this is the White Divine Speaker. I've used those on set. They're great. They're really, really handy. When we, um, I do a lot of like reunion shows for reality, and uh, when we had to have everybody six feet apart, we had to have 
everybody have their own speaker with a mix yeah. minus. And having one cable with PoE was very, very handy. Um, yeah, all right. Thank you. Mark, thank you so much for being with us. It's Great. always a pleasure. Thank Hopefully you. Really we'll appreciate see you, again you next stopping year. by. Thank and uh, we'll be back with more uh, in a little bit.